Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, April the 18th. It's the second week of Easter and week one in the psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalms 20 and 21, and Daniel chapter 3, verse 19 to 30. Uh, please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. Come see the wonders of our God. How glorious are your ways. In Moses' hand you put your rod and please the frightened seas. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, may the Most High hear you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel defend you. Alleluia, Psalms 20 and 21. And please recite them with me. May the Most High hear you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel defend you. And may God send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May God remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. And may God grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. We rejoice in your salvation in the name of our God. We set up our banners and may the Most High fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that you, God, save your anointed. You reply from your holy heaven with the saving strength of your right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Most High, our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. Save your ruler, O God, and answer us when we call. Alleluia, I rejoice in your strength, O God, and I am glad in your salvation. You have given me my heart's desire and have not refused the prayer of my lips. For you came to me with the blessings of goodness you set a crown of pure gold upon my head. I asked life of you, and you gave it days that will last forever and ever. Your salvation has given me great glory. Honor and majesty have you laid upon me. For you have made me most blessed forever, and you have made me exceedingly glad with your presence. For I trusted in you, and through your mercy I shall not be moved. Your hand shall find all your enemies. Your right hand shall find out those that hate you. You shall burn them like a fiery oven in the time of your anger, and you shall swallow them up in your wrath, and the fire shall devour them. And you shall destroy their offspring from the earth and their children from among the peoples, for they intended evil against you. They imagined a mischievous plot yet they are not able to prevail. And therefore you shall make them turn back when you aim your arrows at them. Be exalted, O God, in your own strength, and we will sing and praise your power. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, may the Most High hear you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel defend you. Alleluia. A lesson from the prophet Daniel, chapter 3, beginning at verse 19. Then Nebuchadnezzar was so filled with rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that his face was distorted. He ordered the furnace heated up seven times more than was customary and ordered some of the strongest guards in his army 
Tobiah and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to throw them into the furnace of blazing fire. And so the men were bound, still wearing their tunics, their trousers, their hats, and their other garments, and they were thrown into the furnace of blazing fire. Because the king's command was urgent and the furnace was so overheated, the raging flames killed the men who lifted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. But the three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the furnace of blazing fire. And then King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished, and he rose up quickly. He said to his counselors, Was it not three men that we threw bound into the fire? They answered the king, True, O king, and he replied, But I see four men unbound walking in the middle of the fire, and they are not hurt, and the fourth has the appearance of a god. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the door of the furnace of blazing fire and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. And so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the fire, and the satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw that the fire had not any power over the bodies of those men. The hair of their heads was not singed, their tunics were not harmed, and not even the smell of the fire came from them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants, who trusted in him. They disobeyed the king's command and yielded up their bodies, rather than serve and worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree, any people, nation, or language, that utters blasphemy against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, shall be torn limb from limb, their houses laid in ruins, for there is no other God who is able to deliver in this way. And then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. That God, who's begun this ministry, may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Rejoicing in the fellowship of Francis and Claire and all your saints, we commit, let us commend one another and all of our lives to Christ our God, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Hear our prayers and petitions, O God, and answer us when we call. For we do not trust in our own power, but in your saving help. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia! This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia! And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia!